Hi guys, the contour and everything else is holding up. Took off my eye makeup because I wasn't digging it. Not actually, no, that's not true. I wanted to try um, a lipstick that I've been wanting to review with you for a while. I just haven't had a chance. I don't think we have the right color for this eye for this lipstick. All right, so it's long-lasting smudge-proof lip color by Tattoo Junkie. It was in a group of five, and this is probably the only color out of the bunch I would wear. Uh, the rest of the colors are either dark gray, a dark purple, a dark black, and then the, like, the lightest pink I've ever seen. So I don't think I'd be wearing those, but let's see what this looks like on. And then I'll base my eyes around it. This is probably going to be a pretty dramatic look. And there is something wrong. No, guys, sorry. There's something wrong with my lips. I gotta fix that first. Oh, jeez. There it is. So, uh, yeah. Quick story. Uh, when we first got Bruce, he was adopted. And he was a little crazy. Um, they He was what they call a delayed puppy. So, uh, he was a ton of months when we got him. He was still crazy. Anyway, in the dog park one day, he gave me a fat lip. And I usually always exfoliate my lips right, but if I don't have the right lip color, it looks like trash. So, let's try this again. It's right there. Much better. Hey, so, so far, it's not going on or even. And I got Carol's there. How did that happen? Well, at least I could wipe it off quick enough. So this is a really deep purpley red. Probably much harder for you guys to see because of the light. There we go. It's even. And get the mistake I did. You know, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna screw my makeup anymore. So I was gonna use War Paint Metal Pop, which is this palette. But it doesn't really have any colors that would go with this red. And to be honest, I don't know what colors would go with this red. So, you know what? I'm gonna take it off. And I'm going to use my metallic lipstick by Poudoir, P-U-D-A-E-R, I believe. It's a Wish product. Um, I really do like their products. Sorry, I'm just uh, looking around for my makeup remover. And then I can use the War Paint palette because the lipstick I'm going to put on is uh, a lot less dark. See how hard this is to get off? Uh, a lot less dark. And much prettier to use. How'd that get there? Jeez. Oh, I remember now. It's also one of my favorite colors, and I just refound it again. So I'm excited to review it. Um, this one doesn't have the name on it, unfortunately. But it is on Wish. And I'll show you how it looks in just a second. Sorry, I don't mean to swear, I just get frustrated. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. Again, it's, it says, it used to say metallic lipstick. But like I said, it's one of my favorites. Because, 
Now, is it only a lip stain? It looks matte and metallic at the same time. So we're still going to go with dark. Probably looks like the same color to you guys. My light is a little uh, off. There we go. Yeah, my light is a little off. There we go. All right, so we're gonna use war paint. Um, for my upper eyelid, I am going to use the silver because I want to look kind of dramatic. Now, I would be having my hair down, but right now, uh, I don't want to get any makeup in it. So, this palette, the pickup is great. The fallout is something else. Let's see if I have any, not yet. So, it's a nice bright silver, mostly a highlighting color looks darker on the palette than it actually is. I will show you once I'm finished. Sorry you guys, I didn't mean to be so close. So one thing I do want to mention is I do love the Boondock Saints. It's my favorite movie. I have a tattoo on my rib cage that says Aqua Desferatus which if you don't know means truth and justice. And uh, if you didn't know, the ribcage is one of the most painful places to get a tattoo. One of the most, especially if you're skinny, like I am. I know I don't really look skinny in these videos, but I'm only 125 pounds and that's about 10 pounds less than the dog. Luckily he listens. Okay, so we're getting pretty dramatic up in here. So, I also, you can still see my eyebrows are still done. Ooh, pretty. So, what are we going to use for our dark color? I am this really pretty green. Which I think I'm going to use, guys. So, let me find that brush I had. So yeah, vote on the, uh, the vote on the, uh, sorry, the lap, last lipstick I tried. Gross. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about. Little young girls. My first makeup product, or sorry, if you're looking for products for young girls, or if you have a daughter, you want to slowly get into makeup, this is the first product I got in this size. It's Benefit Tint, or sorry, it's Benefits Benetint. So it just tints your lips, tints your cheeks, and that's all it does. And it's actually the first makeup piece I got. I believe it was about 12 when I got it. And um, smells wonderful. I, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So I'm just going to check my, uh, no, okay. Sorry, I was just checking my other palette. Because I want to go kind of bright, right? So I'm looking at the green and the Moana green in the Marvicon palette, Marvicon palette. And I'm looking at the dark purple in the Marvicon palette because they are both shiny metallic colors. Drop my lip. Um, sorry guys. So again, um, I am pretty impressed with this um, CoverGirl cover-up. Um, I'm still going to be using my NARS on special occasions, but um, truth be told, I really do like this uh, um, oh, concealer. Okay, so we're going to do purple. So the purple in the Marvie Con palette is called Bahamas. And I forgot to show you which color I used out of the uh, Metal Pop. One second. So 
This is one of my favorite purples. Sorry. So the metal pop color I used for my upper lids was that one. The darker gray. It looks dark gray. It's not. It's actually more of a highlighting gray. So a lot of more professional artists I've noticed will put their paint on the hand or on a brush or a different palette all together. And I'd like to learn more about that. I mean, I've been having a, I have a standing date with a friend of mine who also loves makeup. But with her work schedule and my busy schedule, we don't, we haven't had time to meet up yet, which sucks. There we go. Well, a nice, more dramatic look for the day. Not well, for the day, just for sitting around. I'm really just screwing around right now, guys. I'm bored. Everyone's tired from Halliburton up north. So, I'm just having some fun. I did not go swimming. It was too cold. I did tan though. Of course. And I weed my gardens. Well, not my gardens, but Linda's gardens. And that's always fun. Mm, so pretty. I wish I had bigger eyelids. That's very pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the color I used for Mar the Marvel Corner palette was this one. It's not as dark as it would be if I put it on with my fingers. Um, what am I trying to do here? Oh, take out my hair. <laughs> I just took off my shirt. Don't worry, I'm wearing my bathing suit underneath because I thought we were gonna go bathing uh, before we left. And I can dye my hair finally now that we're home. So I'm just gonna apply one more quick coat. So I actually come back, I promise with the same makeup on. Wow, that's bright. I'll actually come back with the same makeup on, I promise. Uh, but like I said, so far I'm pretty happy with the concealer. And we're gonna stay, see if these lips and eyes stay. I know my uh, my face has stayed because I, uh, I haven't lied down or anything. Again, hard candy. One, two, three. I should have used less, but oh well. Makes me feel kind of shiny. So I'm gonna play with my hair, play a video game, and come back later. I have too much fun making these videos.